Hey guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I hope you have your bullet journals ready because today we are going to be planning for February. So January is almost over and that's kind of crazy because what a way to start off 2021, am I right? <laughs> but I'm super excited to plan for February because this is my birth month. I was born February 28th and so I'm always really excited to set up my bullet journal for my birthday and I tend to lean towards the color purple. I don't know, maybe it's the Pisces in me. So this month I decided to go with a stingray theme. Um, when I go to the aquarium, stingrays are one of my favorite animals to look at, to interact with, along with like jellyfish and the clownfish, but that's besides the point. So I've never done this theme before, so I was very excited. Originally, I was gonna go with a koi fish theme. I decided against it because I did that for January last year, and we all know how that year went, so I decided let's do something new, and I did this beautiful purple gradient in the stingray. Um, these are the stickers that I made for this month, and uh, they just came out so much better than I thought they were going to, so I am very, very happy with the way this layout came out. The only thing that I don't like is what you'll see in a second when I decide to add the header to the page, you know, which is the name of the month. I really wish I would have put it in a different location. I do think I may go back and change it or I may just live with it. It's not terrible. I just really wish I would have paid attention to that a little bit more before I put it on the page. <laughs> so school just started for me and I am taking five classes this semester. And I already feel like I have so much to do. Like I'm kind of lost. <laughs> so it's really funny because I have really like a love-hate relationship with school, but ultimately I do it because I want to be in school. So yeah. And even with being in school, I still decided to take my layout from last month and do it again this month with the smaller calendar because I just really ended up loving it. And to be honest, I put like a couple things on the calendar. So if they're on there, I know that they're standout. Um, I also know I have them written down in other places, so I figured I'd just go with it. And that's where I wrote February, and that's where I was really not, <laughs> really not feeling the placement. I just wish I wouldn't have put it there. I wish I would have centered it on the page. That would have looked way better. And if it was smaller, but you live and you learn. And if I do decide to cover it up and replace it, I will post it on my Instagram. So make sure you follow my Instagram. And that is my first page complete. So I do really love the colors and man, I am just, that's what I was gonna mention. I did get the mild liner brush pens and boy, they are really nice. I really like them. And also because I already have the mild liners, I really like interacting with them because I have both colors, like one in the regular highlighter and one in the brush pen. So everything is very cohesive, but I can still get those nice straight lines. So that was, I had a really good time doing this bullet journal plan with me with that. So here we come to my habit tracker and my workout tracker. You guys already know the drill. This page pretty much stays the same and it is effective. So it will be staying. So some of my goals for this year, I have quite a few, but um, one of them is reaching my savings goal. So I just put up a video recently titled how we're reaching our savings goal for 2021. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. But I talk about a lot of the ways that you can reach your savings goals in that video. And for me, I always kind of set a goal every year of like, okay, at the end of the year, I want to reach this amount. And so it's kind of nice for me. And also I really like to have a number in my head where I'm like, okay, every month I'm going to put this number aside. And then no matter what, I will work my budget around that so that I'm taken care of in the long run. So I'm very excited to see how 2021 is going to go. And I'm actually hoping I can beat my savings goal this year. So I have a number in my head. I'm hoping I can pass it. We'll just have to see how it goes. It's going to be a very, very busy year for me. <laughs> so the next goal I have is reading 12 months, <laughs> 12 months reading 12 books this year this is going to be a really hard one because even though i enjoy reading it's sometimes difficult to find time to read and so as of right now 
I've decided that I'm just gonna read 15 minutes before I go to sleep and that has been very effective. It also helps me with like winding down to actually be able to sleep better than I have been. So we will have to see how that goes. I'm currently reading a book called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I have to say, <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. It's pretty interesting. I'm about halfway through the book right now and obviously hoping to finish it before January is over. Uh, but I started it pretty late in the month, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish it before the month ends. And yeah, it is different than I thought it was gonna be for sure, but it's a pretty interesting read. And uh, the book I actually wanna read next is called One of Us is Lying. So apparently that's a really popular book. I haven't really kept up with it so I don't really know what's popular and what's not but I'm very excited to read that book for February and we'll just have to see how that goes so I will be updating if you guys want updates about my reading challenge and if you don't you can also let me know that you don't care that's fine too um, in the past I have posted about books that I've been reading and then I kind of just abruptly stop reading so it's kind of just a waste of time and you know, I apologize for that, but uh, I really do have good intentions, I promise. <laughs> so I love the way this habit tracker ended up coming together in the end, and I just did the little dots around the stingrays to kind of show their movement, so I was obsessed with that. Like, I think I really loved every page in this spread. So this page we're coming up next to is now the two lines a day spread. So you know, pretty self-explanatory. I also track my mood and my energy here. So I have the first dot space open to track my mood and the second dot space is to track my energy. I'm usually somewhere around the moderate range. I'm trying to get to more like high energy. Moderate to me is like, meh, I'm okay. I can get through the day, but high is like, okay, I have a lot of energy. I feel motivated. I feel ready to go. And that's where I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys are reading any books this year or you guys have like a book challenge or anything like that, please let me know in the comments. Let me know where you're reading or if you just have any book recommendations, please let me know. I would love to know what you guys are reading or what you guys have read in the past that you loved because I have to add more books to this collection. So yeah. The next goal that I have that's like really important to me is like finishing my AA this year. And honestly, it opens up a whole can of worms because then I have to make some pretty big decisions and I just don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> so this next page I'm setting up, you guys already know, my expense tracker, my finance setup. You guys know I have to have this in my bullet journal every month. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> but so as I was saying, with finishing up my AA and looking at transferring, it's really hard for me to wrap my head around because it not only means that I have to start looking at schools that I potentially want to go to and financial and how I'm going to pay for it and how I'm going to support myself and where I'm going to be and who I'm going to be and <sighs> yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, I know that, you know, obviously you guys already know business finance, that's my degree. I still want to do that and that's my end goal at the end of the day. But I'm just like, you know, all these entrepreneurs out here already, you know, doing great things, making a ton of money, supporting themselves. And I'm like, you know, do I really need to go to school for this or, you know, can I just go out on these ventures now? And I still don't have the answer. I think for me, it's one of those things where I know that I want to do it for myself. Like I want to get my degree for me. It has nothing to do with anybody else. But at the same time, just like at the end of the day, like I want to be successful. I want to be able to take care of myself so that I can better take care of others. And can that be taught, you know? So of course, there's still so much that I want to learn. So I go back and forth about it every day and just thinking about supporting myself through that journey, um, especially, you know, if it's in state or if it's out of state or I just don't know. So course I don't have to worry about that right right now but by this summer or by the middle of this year like I'm gonna have to really start thinking about it and taking it seriously and doing my homework on that stuff so 
yeah, just to say that I'm overwhelmed is kind of an understatement, but I know you guys understand what I'm going through. I feel like I talk about this in every video and you guys are always really supportive. So, you know, I'm hoping that will continue and I'm hoping that, not even hoping, I know it's gonna work out. I'm just, I'm still worried about it. The quote at the bottom says, when I die, I'm gonna turn into one of these, unless I chose the wrong tattoo. And that quote is actually from Moana and I felt like, this is perfect. It has to go in there. You know, when the old lady is like dancing in the water with the stingrays, I'm like, that's me. So, <laughs> so I threw that in there as just like nice little touch to that. And, um, I really enjoyed that. Like, I just thought it was, I just thought it was so funny for that. So I <laughs> hope you guys got a kick out of it too. And I'm just making my expense tracker where I can keep track of what comes in, what comes out. And this is a very handy spread. Same thing. You guys already know. Okay, so another goal of mine this year that I'm super excited about is, as you guys know, we're around like 110 subscribers right now, which I have to say, like, I am so freaking thankful for. Thank you guys so much. Um, and one of my goals has been to reach 1,000 subscribers, and I can't even believe that I've gotten this far, and I also can't believe how close we are to that goal because, like... I just truly feel like I don't deserve it sometimes, if I'm being honest. And then you guys, you know, support me on Instagram and stuff like that. And you're like, no, like you're totally appreciated. We love you. I love watching your channel. And I'm just like, uh, it just fills my heart so much. Like, I'm just so grateful for this creative outlet and this platform because, you know, I just, this is what I do already. This is like actually a part of my life and I don't just do it for YouTube or Instagram. This is actually just something I really enjoy doing. So to get some kind of, you know, notoriety from that, it just really, really warms my heart. So I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> I am incredibly grateful. And then along with that comes creating like more income for 2020. I mean, 2020, no, we're done with that for 2021. Um, but before I get into that, I want to talk about what I'm doing right now. So I'm working on my monthly goal spread. Now, to be honest, it's not that different from last month. However, I just really loved the pictures that I picked of the stingrays and I just thought they fit so well. So I really liked the spread, especially once I went back in and like filled it in, which you can see on my Instagram again. So yeah, and then the page next to it is my birthday spread. I do this every year. <laughs> every year when it's my birthday month, I always make a spread, you know, surrounded around just like my birthday and me being a Pisces and everything. Cause I, you know, some people don't believe in astrology. That's cool. I really connect with that though. So I always have to throw it in there. And also I use a picture that somebody photoshopped of Rihanna as a mermaid <laughs> to be like my representation of like me as a Pisces. And like, tell me that's not like the best thing ever. <laughs> Uh, because Rihanna's like incredible so when I saw that on Pinterest I was like I have to put this in my bullet journal there's no way I can skip that so I really ended up liking the way that this came together it took me a minute to figure out this page because I really wanted to make it nice and I just could not figure out what kind of layout I wanted I just knew what things I wanted to be on there so I ended up just doing what I always do just winging it and just putting things together until they made sense to me and it looked good and um we had some ups and downs making the spread for sure but at the end of the day I think it came together and it looks really cute and I think both pages side by side really look nice so I hope you guys think so too I ended up cutting up this like description of like what a Pisces is into separate chunks because I couldn't fit the full thing on there in a way that I liked so I actually think breaking that up made it look really really cool so yeah and because I'm more of the like very simple and organized layout for like my weeklies I was like well I still want to be creative and have that scrapbook element so this was my page to really just go all out with that so <laughs> I really enjoyed putting that together okay so some coming back to the goal of creating more income so 2020 taught me that relying on one source of income is not gonna work like you know and I don't say that to be um condescending or patronizing or anything like that I say that just as like an honest to god wake up call like if you can diversify you should and I've believed this for a long time I just never really had the push to like figure out okay what else can you do and there's plenty that you can actually do so 
This year, I'm really striving to increase my income stream. And my goal this year is to obtain at least two separate streams of income outside of my full-time job. So that is what I want to do. I am hoping that because I'm getting closer to the threshold for YouTube AdSense that I can make that one of my goals this year, but I don't know because, you know, they say it's like a long process and it takes a couple months before you get approved and all that and, you know, at the end of the day, like, it would be awesome, but I'm not really counting on it. I'm looking into other avenues at the moment and I have so many hobbies I'm interested in so many things I feel like my downfall is the fact that I am you know tied to two very heavy commitments being a full-time job and a full-time student so not much time in between to do a whole lot I mean even just doing these two and you know YouTube and Instagram is very like hectic for me so you know we'll have to see how it goes but I'm really excited to see what I'm able to do and then at the end of this year, you know, we can just talk about, okay, well, this is how it happened, this was the struggle that I went through, but at the end of the day, this is what it is. And, you know, I mean, here's the thing, even if it's an extra $10, $100, whatever it may be, you know, at the end of the month, like, I will be satisfied with that because it's something I can build upon and grow upon. And at the end of the day, it's another role in my financial journey, so. I am excited about that. I'm excited about this year, even though I don't want to make any truly like overarching goals because of the fact that 2020 really threw everybody off. So yeah, um, what you're seeing right now is a daily routine page instead of the weekly and my gratitude blog. I realized that I should have filled it in before I took the final, you know, videos. But if you want to see it filled in, it will be on my Instagram, as I always say. But now we're actually coming to the first week of February in my bullet journal, which means this is the last spread I'm going to be setting up for this video. I did change around the layout for this a little bit in which I put the to-do list on this side instead of on the other side where it typically is because typically I would put the weekend together. However, especially with school, I definitely wanted to have space, especially because this is a smaller journal than my B5, so I'm having to adjust to the smaller size again, and um, I definitely need the space on the weekend. So I ended up just making the space to make that extra column, and I think I'm pretty happy with it. It still looks really awesome, it's still going to be very functional, and I still have all the stuff on the page that I need, but I'm just changing around to better suit my needs. and. I would recommend that you guys do that too. Like if you know you're gonna have a busier month or a busier couple months, you can adjust your spreads to make them work for you in that time. And you don't, you know, you don't have to stick to a certain thing just because you've been doing it. You can change it up when you need to, to make it work. So yeah, this is pretty much what it's looking like. And you know, I'm pretty happy with the way that this came together. <laughs> I would love to know what you guys' goals are in the comments below if you want to share. And also if you want to share how the year's been going so far and have you had to change any goals already? Um, I personally haven't, which I think is a good sign, but you never know. We are literally just in January and we'll have to see where it goes. <laughs> so, Also, I hope you guys got some inspiration for setting up your bullet journal for this month. So yeah. So the last thing I did on this page, which I thought was really cute and is gonna be a staple on all of my pages, is I kinda did the stingrays like swimming away off the page and I just thought it was so nice. Just a nice little touch to fill in the space. And yeah, this is what the final spread ended up looking like. We have come to the final flip through. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you're old, thanks for coming back. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining our little Bujo family. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.